in case you can't hear the babbling brook next to us, we are at Glamping Unplugged in right Boone. outside of Boone, North Carolina, and we are so fucking pumped about it. Literally, so stoked. Look at this beautiful treehouse dome that we get to live in. Mel and I are gonna cuddle in a king-size bed tonight inside a fucking dome. And you can fit four people in here. There's a king-size bed and there's a bunk bed. But like we're gonna sleep in the bunk. Oh, beds. no, but just in case you had more friends than just, you know, we no just have each friends. other. Yeah, no, 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 so. absolutely not. Um, <laughs> I'm Alicia. And I am Mel. And this is We'll, we'll Take, take the, the Lot with Work For Your Beer. Woo, woo, we woo. are very fortunate that when we were speaking with the lovely folks at Glamping Unplugged, who <laughs> genuinely we are obsessed with, they said, hey, what if you did a We'll Take the Lot at the Dome with our friends at Appalachian Mountain Brewery? And we said, uh, yes, okay. Definitely, 1,000%. Fuck yes, we will. Do you know when I had my first ever AMB beer? No. It was a tall boy at Benny Pinello's. Oh, really? In Noda. It was wow. one of the first North Carolina beers I ever tasted the day that we moved in. What? Yeah. Well, that's perfect. It's amazing. It was and, this boy, but tall. Um, they just came out with, we'll talk about this, this low and hazy, and uh, they did reach out to us and said, hey, this is meant for your audience, and it fucking sure is. Absolutely. Um, so I'm stoked. They also gave us cider. So yes. they have AMC, which is freaking adorable. It's their cider s s company. Yeah, Appalachian Mountain Cidery. And the flavors all look amazing. I'm, I've never seen ciders in some of these flavors. I'm very excited. Yeah, and we're stoked. And the thing is, uh, we didn't really bring glasses, so we're going to just chug some beer. And I told Alicia, you ready to get hammered tonight? Because we're fucking sleeping right here. We're we sleeping over. We're, we're sleeping over. Mm. I'm mm. very excited. Mm. Um, I haven't been camping yet this year. It's no, the first one that we're doing. And so. it was beautiful outside today. Like literally we could not have asked for better weather and there's going to be a full fucking moon tonight. It's going to get spooky up in this We're going to get fucking weird. I wonder if we should do a seance or play with a Ouija board. I just want to sit here and just, oh. We can howl. That's you know it. what? That's all I, I want to do. I should brought some peyote. That's my bad. It's okay. Okay. Next time. <laughs> what we're going to do here is I, if you've seen some of our previous episodes, people have created a drinking game for We'll Take a Lot. So people drink when Mel winks, when I flip my hair, when someone burps, mm -hmm. uh, when someone bursts into song. I'm going to add a new rule for today since we're drinking out of cans instead of tasters, and it's every time we crack, you drink. Yeah, I mean, that only makes sense. You're so, joining in on the drinking game. To start us off. That's a crack, and we are starting with the American Lager, which is a gold medal winner. Hell yeah, it's, that's, uh, Alan just had this. So my husband was up here with me for a couple days and he went to their uh, actual tap room and he said, I had the gold uh, metal lager. He's like, I had to while I was here. He said it was pretty freaking good. Oh, it's delightful. Oh. I was telling Mel as I was setting these up, cause really the folks here are so nice. They just left us a giant cooler full of beer and ice, which was they amazing. They gave us like four, they probably gave us a four pack of everything, which is why we have an excessive amount of beer in there. Yes, but we <laughs> grabbed one of everything and I was just looking at them thinking, okay, what order do I want to drink these in? Because usually they give them to us in an order that is palatable. So it was a nice test of my beer thinking skills. Uh, to start with a lager, which is usually when they create a tap list for us, we start with a lager, we head into some hazier IPA type stuff, and then we head back into like sour and cider This town. is our dessert town. Exactly. We're excited. This is, we're basically That's a really fucking good lager. Beer for dinner. Yes. Yeah, can, it, it, uh, we are. Well, we did bring stuff to grill, so we're going to test our charcoal grill skills here. We're just out here being wilderness women. Independent motherfucking women out here. We don't need no nowhere. man. We don't have cell service. We genuinely don't. I was a little So if we scared. die, this is the last video you'll see. <laughs> yes, please. If you need to contact my husband, his number's in my phone. Uh, Good luck. Genuinely. I brought uh, a taser and some pepper spray, so don't Just fuck with case. me. I'm yeah. a murderino and I'm terrified. Well, and our door locks. So they did say they have like secure secure doors here. Do you think you could cut through this? I mean, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Mel and just said, do you think I could pop this by accident? I and like, I was like, I don't like think it's so. not inflatable, but you could poke a hole in it if you really tried. It does look very durable. It does. Also very cute. Oh, I'm obsessed with it. Okay, right. anyway. Uh, that we was... have to beat the sun going down. Yes, we do. <laughs> that was the lager. Uh, this is probably going to be what I'm going to drink tonight. It's this is a good crushable, like, we yes. can power hour. I'm here for it. To this shit. And you brought the... Power hour tower. Jenga style power hour. And every block has, like, a thing. It's like, go twerk or, like, chug your beer. Oh! What is that? I'm so sorry. Ah! <laughs> <My reaction. laughs> okay, 
Okay, I don't think this is on camera. No, 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 no. no. What do I do? No. What am I gonna do? No. It is a white caterpillar with giant fucking spikes on it. Why does it have spikes? What I could this be for? For hurting people. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, he okay. pooped. Did you see him poop? He did poop. I'm sorry, I was even more upset about him pooping on her. No! Go back Get the other way. away from us! <laughs> Are there more? <laughs> we're like, we're wilderness women! <laughs> I'm literally- well, the first fucking spiky caterpillar, you see. I tell people this all the time. No. No. No! 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 no. <laughs> oh, I hate it. Don't get on the handle. If you just avoid the handle. Are you gonna get on there? You son of a bitch. Don't do it. Mel, what if there was one of these in there? No! In when we no! Later? <laughs> no, I <love> it. <laughs> We're gonna have to stare at him this whole time. What lot. am I gonna do? I, do I have to hit it? I think you have to hit it. With what? A shoe? Oh, I'm so scared. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna pee my pants. <laughs> I'm scared too. Hit it in the right direction. Oh, what if you hit your no. camera? Hey, you get, you no. get, you go get. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right, I'm gonna do it. Okay. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. Don't knock over your camera. <laughs> you, feel, you don't think he'll like spray stuff. I don't know. <laughs> what do I know what the fuck this is? Leave. <laughs> stop that, you stop it. Mel, he's not gonna fly away. You have to hit him. <sighs> okay. okay, 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 okay. I'll avoid his poop. Oh! Ah! Okay, I did it. <laughs> what if this is all we post for the trailer? <laughs> okay, if there's another bug, I'll kill it. Okay, but that one, where'd he come from? I don't know, Mel. Now I'm scared there's more. What if they're in our bed? Well, we've got shoes. <laughs> Excuse me. So we're Can really go? good at <laughs> Guys, oh I tell this to people all the time because Alan and I watch uh, Naked and Afraid. Why? And I ah! <laughs> <laughs> and I always say, I won't last like 12 minutes on Naked and Afraid because there's so many fucking bugs. And I what was that? Don't like bugs. How am I gonna look that up when we get home? It's fuzzy and what? spiky, and it was this long. That, that's it. Oh, Did we man. take a sample of its feces to a type of <laughs> entomologist? <laughs> Do we have any people who are bug Wait, yes. explorer friends? Remember the uh, girl that does the that Andrew worked with? Yeah, yeah, she's uh, a bug girl. Her daughter was just in the hospital for five days with rat bite disease, which you can get from kissing and or sharing breakfast cereal with your rat. Well, I feel like that's her fault. <laughs> I agree, and she was like, actually, we did a bunch of reading up on stuff, and it's shocking that we're not dead all the time. Wow. I need to drink uh, so much more beer to be okay. I fun that thing through the hammock hole. So. Are you sure? Yes. Mel, what if there's more? I mean, now there, I'm so there scared. For sure, will be more. We just we gotta power through. We gotta know we gotta that drink. it's not on our bodies. Yeah. If you see something on me, don't <laughs> don't react like I did, which was just to scream in your face. <laughs> I cannot wait to watch that back. Do we just start over? Do we no. leave it? It's too late. Okay. It's a part of us. Fuck. Okay. Next oh, up is. That was scary. I, my <laughs> like heart rate's really high. Still, it's at 90 beats per minute. <laughs> Where am I? Where am I? What's Ooh, going on here? Oh boy. Oh no. I don't know. Okay. It's not. It's not a top <clears throat> priority for me. All right. I'm gonna take this block. I'm at 107. I'm also very anxious. Okay. Yeah. Drink some beer. I think one of our hairs got caught on here. All right, we're on blonde, the Boone Creek blonde. This is the other one Alan had. That sounds right. He hates yeah. blondes. Yeah, it's a weird thing for him to do. Hmm. Anyway. I love that it's what, like 10 minutes in and we've done oh, man. two beers. Ooh. Well, luckily we don't have 22 to get through. <laughs> that one's good. Yeah, <laughs> just, just keep on going. <laughs> now I'm like on the lookout. Oh, I know. God. Is there? Well, here's the problem. If we look too hard, we're gonna find bugs Correct. everywhere. Yes. I and don't want to look thing, that like, hard. We're, normal bugs? Okay, I see you. <laughs> Fucking spiky ass caterpillars? I'm no. gonna cry. If that was no. if that was like a spider, I feel like I would have been scared, but it would have been fine. It's like I know what a spider is. I don't know what a yellow fuzzy worm with spikes is. I 
It's and a, a black it's face. A, it's a deadly caterpillar. It had a little black face and just a sucker. He literally just taunted us by shitting That's right next to it. That's a big shit for I'm, that. I'm just warm. saying. Okay. We're fine. Anyway. We're fine, it's fine, we're fine, it's fine, we're fine. This is why we do glamping and not real camping. People just sleep on the fucking ground who? like idiots. Why? Like idiots. I think you're dumb. It's a bad idea. It's uncomfortable. There are definitely bugs crawling on you in that scenario. Even last year when we went camping, Andrew and I on the campground, we decided, so our friends have an RV. Yes. They stayed in that. We decided to stay in a cabin. Which, smart. Right. This other person, we were like, you can stay in our cabin free. We won't charge you. It's 40 bucks a night. Yeah. And he was like, no, I'm going to sleep on the ground. Why? I will say. Who we, are you proving something to? <laughs> we did consider sleeping in these hammocks, but not not now. I think Absolutely we've, I not think now. We've, we've let that ship sail. Anyway, <clears throat> this next beer. Wait, let's talk about the blonde. Oh, blonde yeah. was good. I needed it. <laughs> Uh, it, it says brewed with honey. I was gonna say, I believe this and one has a little bit more of a sweet... Yeah, it's... Alright, so it says... <clears throat> An ode to the creek along which we built our brewery. Boone Creek Blonde is a refreshing beer for every season. I don't know why I chose this accent. Brewed with orange zest to complement its light hop aroma. Boone Creek Blonde is a crisp mouthfeel, followed by a hint of sweetness from wildflower honey. It is drinkable and delicious, and a gold medal winner from Boone's Beer Pioneer. So, <clears throat> why did I choose that accent? So I think Alan drank both of these because they're both gold medal winners. Wow. And that's pretty badass. I mean, two with like both of these very traditional styles is like very impressive, right? It honestly is. However, and this is just purely playing devil's advocate, <laughs> the gold medal in a Boone competition mm. is not the same as like but when Noda Brewing has won it at like GABF. What's this one from? Are both Does of them not Boone? say. This one is says thought, from okay, Boone's from Beer Boone. Pioneer. Well, <clears throat> or maybe they're referring to themselves as Boone's Beer Pioneer. Perhaps I'm incorrect. Yeah, that sounds right, okay. right? But like the gold medal I think is assumed it's GABF, right? Typically when I see a gold medal, medal winner it's either that or it's um... A city specific one? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Or like uh -huh. NC beer. Yeah. You know, stuff like that. Okay. Um, I think that one's really good. It was always my go-to mm. at Benny's just because it wasn't like PBR. Oh my god. I love Benny's. I love Benny's. So much. And I love that we have one in Richmond too. You know there's one in Charleston also? Oh, fuck They're yeah. They're all over the place. Why, why aren't we partnering with Benny's? Benny's? Benny's! Give us free pizza. We'll like totally promote the shit out of you. Our Benny's just, uh, I don't mm. know if every Benny's did it, but on their boxes on the back it has... Um, Recycle this box and then it offers ideas for what you should do with it. And it's like build a fort. Oh, Use cute. it. It's like super cute. You're not supposed to recycle recycle pizza boxes because right. of the grease. And that's why they so say it's like, Here's recycle. How you can reuse it. Oh, that's cute. It's real cute. <clears throat> I like that. Um, okay, next up is this low and hazy. So you want to talk about that a little bit more? Yeah. So low and hazy. <clears throat> they just released this uh, probably a month or so ago, and um, they reached out to us because they were like, hey. This is a low calorie hazy IPA mm -hmm. and we think your audience will love it. And we agree because we love it. And it honestly, it does not taste like it has less calories. That's what I was just gonna or say. Or less carbs. Like it literally just tastes like a lighter hazy IPA. Like just like a good refreshing hazy. Um, I really like it and like I'm You're not, not even usually an IPA person. Yeah, and this one is, I will say it's not like juicy, juicy hazy. It's like more of a classic, I would say. It is more bitter than my like usual style. Totally, it's not but quite it's as like good. orangey or like mm -hmm. citrusy like you usually like. But it's got a great like yeah. well-rounded flavor profile. It's good. I would say of these three, it's definitely the hoppiest. But earlier when we were drinking yes. these, just like out of nowhere, which where'd that guy go? Did we finish it? He's in there. Okay. I thought you saw another bug. No. <laughs> <laughs> My reaction would be much more intense. Um, no, when we were drinking it earlier, I was drinking it after not having had any beer, and I was like, wow, this is hoppier than I remember. Yeah. But in the lineup, it doesn't taste quite Well, and we have two more IPAs, so it'll mm -hmm. be interesting to compare these three. For sure. And just see if, like, okay, you can tell it's a little bit lighter, but... As far as I'm concerned, that's a really good post-workout beer. Highly recommend. Agreed. And I think a lot of the time we see the lighter beers, like if you think of Unknowns, theirs yep. is like that sour style. Oh, it's a Goza. Right. Yeah. Um, you so see good. a lot of light lagers and things like that, but you don't yeah. see as many light IPAs. IPAs. I think maybe, I mean, Dogfish Head does one, but other than that, it's not quite as much of like the focus I'm because sure. it's, it's usually a much higher calorie beer. I it must be difficult. Yeah. It's got to be more difficult to brew for sure when you're trying to like pull 
caloric density out of yeah. stuff, right? Like, what do you remove? Exactly. I don't know. I'm not a brewer. I'm super curious. We should actually ask a brewer about that. That would be an interesting thing Let's to ask learn. our friends at AMB. On our podcast. Yes. Mel, you look really good in this flannel. Thank you. I just want you to know, it really... I wore this the other day, and Alan goes, you look like Alicia. <gasps> yes! I literally walked up when you I picked you up earlier and was like, she's wearing a flannel around her waist too, whatever. <laughs> I guess you can copy me. But Mel and I, the thing is, our taste is pretty much the same across the board for life. Yeah. So, like, we're usually like, okay, you'll wear the flannel and then I'll wear the flannel. Like, and you'll we wear the wore beanie the and same then I'll wear the beanie. today and a fucking flannel around our waist. Yep. And, yep. Uh, yeah, uh, this one I actually bought for a uh, murder mystery dinner. I knew that. Where I was you a were cowboy. A, mm -hmm. uh, actually, I was a bandit, so yep. I had to wear a thing over my face, and then this was a comfy. I thought it was a thing again. And then, now I just see these caterpillars in my mind. It's fine. It's not. I'm never going to get over <laughs> it. Literally, the, so close the to first you. thing that happens when we get to Wi Fi is I have to know what the fuck that thing was. Okay. <laughs> Next up. My ADD is just like, nope, squirrel. <laughs> fuck. God. Anyway. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Okay, so next up is Longleaf, which says taking its name from the toast of the Old North State. Is that us? In old North Carolina? Okay. Or North. It's taking its taste from somewhere else? Taking its name from the oh, toast name. of the Old North State, Longleaf IPA oh. is a smooth and crisp amber-hued India Pale Ale. Bold topping creates citrus and piney aromas and an intense resinous hop flavor that will stay with you pint after pint. Here's to the land of the Longleaf Pine, to the summer land where the sun doth shine, where the weak grow strong and the strong grow great. <laughs> Here's to the down home, the Old North State. That is the North Carolina State Toast. You didn't know that that existed? Wow. I just learned a lot. I didn't know a longleaf pine was a thing. Did I keep your attention for that whole thing? Yeah. Damn. I was listening. I'm so I was impressed. digesting in my mind. I've never heard of a state having a toast. Now I want to know if Virginia has a toast. Is anyone's toast avocado toast? I, would I like love avocado that. toast. That's it. That's it. Just hey. Here's, here's our toast. Two avocado toast. <laughs> I would like some avo toast. I know. All right. We did bring some uh, beyond meat uh, sausages to grill. And I'm like pretty stoked about it. They're so tasty. They're fat. They're like fat sausages. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I'm stoked about it. It's gonna it. be delicious. You were like, get weenies. And I was like, I could not find any other vegetarian fucking wieners. <laughs> My in note the said, veg for leash. Yeah. I just, I don't even type words anymore. I'm like, she'll get it. And uh, this was the only thing the fucking food line near me had. And honestly, it's probably the best thing they could have. Mm -hmm. I think it's probably going to be the tastiest. So it's interesting. All right, first, let's talk about this beer. This is hoppy. It's incredibly hoppy, which I love. <laughs> this is, when I drink an IPA, this is typically the flavor I'm searching for. So yeah. I don't want as much of the juicy, hazy. Right. I want more of that bitter, that, like, depth that you can get with something like this. Yeah, this one's happy. How do you feel about it? Uh, it's fine. It's not like the one that I would like reach for. Sure. But I feel like I'm getting so much more used to it being like that hoppy that I'm like, oh, this is like, I can tell like when you pour it, it'll be more clear. I assume. Yes, it'll be much more clear and it'll be darker. Yeah. So usually I feel like that's how you can almost tell if it's going to be super bitter. It's yeah. like, it's a little more on the brown side rather than that, like yellowy Golden. orange that you yeah. see. Yeah. It's not bad. Interesting. Also, I have a quick aside. Me? Never. Um, <laughs> meh. Um, is that where it goes? That's fine. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. I was just... I was in we, we touched hands, and then it was weird, and then I was like, well, let me make it weirder, because that's how, <laughs> that's how I am. <laughs> so, one time, when I was first dating Andrew, and Andrew was into beer before I was into beer. Like, not good beer particularly, but like, he drank beer yeah. while I was still in my wine phase of college. Sure. Um, so I remember he came to meet my dad somewhere and my dad like offered him a beer and yeah. it was like oh what do you have and my dad was like that's not a question anyone should ask like if it's a beer you fucking take it and Andrew was like oh I'm just like used to I'm curious like I'll definitely drink whatever you have but yeah. like just curious if you have options this is like a normal beer, conversation <laughs> like how this goes but my dad's mindset was like if I have like a fucking 24 pack of cores you're gonna drink it and yeah. he's like well yeah obviously I am but, like, but just tell me what it is. I wasn't sure if you also had other shit. But I thought that was so interesting because I would never just be like, oh, do you want a beer? Yeah. And then not expand on my selection. Would yeah. You? No, that's bizarre. Right? And I mean, I think your dad probably also is not like a craft beer drinker. 
No, he's not. He's so an asshole of massive proportions. Probably was Coors. I think it was. Actually, whatever. It was probably Michelob Bud Ultra. or whatever. Yeah, it's probably one of those. My where, mom likes Coors Light. Yeah, and that's fine. People I can like her, whatever the fuck they want. I but. was explaining to her like if you go to a craft brewery, just order the lager on tap or the yeah. pilsner on tap, and you're probably gonna like it because it just tastes like a beer. Yeah, exactly. For sure. Um, that's how that's how my mom is too. Mm -hmm. She's like she likes like the light beer flavored beer stuff. Whereas Andrew's mom always goes for, and I mean she likes craft beer a little bit more because she's German, but she usually goes for like a a dunkel or like yeah. a brown. Yeah, that yeah. makes sense. Uh, uh, we're on another IPA, but it's not an IPA. P.S. It's an IPA. That's the <laughs> name. Name of the Not beer. an IPA. P.S. It's an IPA. P.S. It's an IPA. I love that name, and I also love this can design. But can art is fucking fantastic on this beer. Do you just hear me burp into my own mouth? Mm. Did you catch that for the drinking game? <laughs> I haven't flipped my hair at all because it's in a beanie. Oh, I'm so cool and fun and great. So I this one I almost think is more bitter than that one. Really? But it has some elements of citrus that I think that one didn't have. Definitely juice. I taste pineapple. Yeah, juice. Let's compare. The, ju the juice. All three. All three ipas. Let's start calling it ipas. It's really hard to get the scent profile of a beer in a, in can. a can. We yeah. have cups that I could have brought out, it's too and late. I think he told us to use cups, and he, I he did said, not uh, "Bring your own glass," and then we said, "No." <laughs> No, we said we would, and then we just didn't bring them for the for the video. They're inside. They're here. We have them. We didn't blatantly not follow the rules. We're rule followers here. I like rules. <laughs> that is one half of this partnership. Stop letting me talk. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. okay. Uh, I was watching Saved by the Bell the other day. And it was the episode where they, well, first I saw the episode where they say, make he sweat. makes my teeth sweat. That was amazing. <laughs> then I was watching and they had the episode where the famous guy comes to their high school to film the like, oh, don't yeah. do drugs thing. Yep. But then he, he does. tries to pressure Kelly Kapowski into smoking a joint and she gets really uncomfortable and everyone's like, yo, you're lame, we're leaving. And then they make that, like, they like don't care about the celebrity anymore. And I was like, man, what fucking losers just smoke the weed? <laughs> like, that was my takeaway. I was like, if idiot. But like me in high school, like I never would have done that. Like if they were trying to pressure me into oh, weed yeah, smoking, me neither. I, I, <laughs> I would have been like Kelly Kapowski. I would have been super uncomfortable. It's just so funny because I feel like we know so many people. Honestly, not a terrible spot to leave. Fuck you, battery. Okay, sorry guys, we're back. Uh, we were uh, about to talk about how we are insanely anxious and don't think we could ever do like psychedelics. No, I would be an actual nightmare. Even when I have smoked weed in the past in states where it's legal, I'm like terrified. Yeah, we're too anxious. Mm -hmm. If you're anxious beforehand, you're gonna have a horrible trip. And I right. just don't think, I don't think we could ever get past, unless we smoked weed, to chill the fuck out before we did it, but then but you're then mixing. You have, I don't like it's not worth it. I don't it. like the concept. Anyway, uh, we're gonna pick our favorite IPAs. If we didn't do that already, we're not sure if we did that already. We're gonna find out. Uh, of the IPAs, this boy is my favorite, but honestly, if I had to say my favorite of the whole bunch, tonight, for whatever reason, this would usually be my favorite, but I'm in Lager Town, man. I feel the same. The fucking lager is good. If I had to pick out the IPAs, I'd pick the hazy, and then I'm team lager. This lager makes me want to kick back and listen to Wagon Wheel while just mm -hmm. drinking Rock without me, stopping. Rock me, mama, like a wagon wheel. Rock me, mama, anyway. <laughs> hey. Why are you Goofy the dog from Disney? This Alicia, is amazing. Alicia gets so mad when I sing because I I'm can't. Not mad. I can't do it well, so I just do it weird. You do you do it my weird. Lizzo You're Lizzo. Well, you also sound like Goofy for that. Stop <laughs> doing these. That's just my voice. <laughs> That's not your voice. <laughs> I love when Mel sings along with me to like all of our emo music shit. Oh yeah, fuck yeah. But when we get into a song, she's not sure how to sing. She just goes right into a cartoon. I go, I go weird because like, about the same band. I know I'm just bad at singing, so I'm like, well, if I just make it weird, it's better. You know, but it's actually a not. pretty great strategy. Right? Yeah. Like, I'm like, I'd rather just be weird versus, like, sound like I'm horribly out of tune, which I am all the time. So it's something we haven't talked about yet this episode is the fact that I can't hear out of my right ear oh, yeah. right now. So <laughs> usually I can. Maybe that'll change in the future when they figure out that I've got, like, some tumor in there or something. But for right now, my doctor said there was a growth, but there was a lot of blockage. She couldn't see it. So it sounds like I'm underwater on this side. So I'm turning toward Mel a lot more so I can hear her. 
Also, my singing on the way down, I was like, I don't know what keys I'm hitting because I can only hear out of the one ear. It's very disconcerting. She's got a tough, a tough situation of ear blockage right now. It's very uncomfortable and we're in the mountains and that has been incredibly oh. uncomfortable. Ooh. So sorry. Let's move on. Oh wait, we have to do our, our quick cheers here. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want to, let's do this one. Okay. Uh, Hail, Hail Satan. Satan. Uh, now I keep checking over my shoulder for a bug. Um, <laughs> You'll see my eyes go. <laughs> if you notice in. it. Well, that one flew right on your nose. Oh. Well, right. rose on <laughs> your nose. <laughs> all right, I'm so fucking stoked. One, this can art for all of their ciders is fucking dope. It is pretty good. Also, we were at a place today, Peabody's. Peabody's Wine, Wine and, and beer. beer. And we met the guy who does all the artwork for Newgrass Brewing. And Newgrass is the fucking tits. They're actually out of Shelby, I think. Or yeah. Terryville, Shelby, that area. Um, he was so low key. Yeah, he was like, I was oh, like I yeah, just, I just do that on the side. I just do their artwork. And their artwork is fucking fire. Like, they have really amazing cans. Almost more importantly, there was a dog inside the shop. There was a dog. It was a brown, a chocolate lab. A brown, <laughs> a brown lab. Brown lab. <laughs> I was just talking to Alan about this the other day. I'm like, why is one yellow and one chocolate and one black? They like, couldn't be why like... Why wouldn't it be vanilla and chocolate? Or like or, honey, licorice, yeah, chocolate. Yeah, I don't know. It's just silly. Like. Anyway, uh, this artwork's badass. This one has a fucking fox on it. What? Ooh, you're a fox. I am wait a, a minute, fox. wait a minute. Uh, Vazen is about to release a triple peach Saison with a, their new logo as a fox for their what? Saison series. So you know how they do like walrus for their stouts yes. and like whatever. Their fox is their new season. Yay! Well, can we get them all? Absolutely. Someone get me the foxes. Jamie, send me all the foxes. Give she it. is one of the few people that watches these. Oh, Jamie's uh, awesome. God uh, bless her. She changed her name to Jason on Instagram because she has a, um, uh, she had a really shitty uh, client who like responded to her email and was like, dear Jason. And Jamie was like, my name is my email. And so she like, is just back. I don't know. Clapping well, back. I feel like that Alan does this when people spell his name wrong. When he's like, "My name is in the email and in the signature." So when you spell it A L L E N, I'm gonna spell your name wrong backwards too. And even if it's like Joe, he'll be like Job. Did you see my Instagram story? So that award ceremony, I yes. first off, uh, they had pre-recorded the acceptance speeches of the winners. So after oh. I watched the first two awards go out, I was like. Well, I sure didn't win. Yeah. Uh, then she was announcing the people, and she was like, and Alice Valensky. And I was like, no. Good good effort, though. Close. But then, the, so Sam, my boss, and I always yeah. talk about how people get our names wrong. And the other day, someone, like, reply all to she and I together and called me Andrea. And Sam messages me and is like, there's a new one. And someone called her Amanda instead of Samantha. I'm like, what are you they just, doing? They just make names up? I don't know. It's like fun for them? It's Very like a, a Meg tactic? Like, what is it? I, I don't know. Um, anyhow, this is the dry hopped orange cider oh, mimosa. Oh, fuck yes. Oh my God. This tastes like juice. That is fucking delicious. Is it? it tastes dry hopped like, hard cider with orange juice. It tastes like like blood orange almost like oh my god that's really fucking good wow why haven't we been doing cider mimosas cider mosas you Mimo know what there's a place in Richmond that does those oh really yeah is there's it a cidery yes courthouse creek cider does mimosas okay. and they're really good this is fucking good i never good think job. of cider as bubbly but i guess it can be yeah like more effervescent yeah and that, yeah, I mean, that's the thing with mimosas, right? Is you want a little bubble. Oh, that's this is baller. fucking good. Ooh. Oh, man. That was a fucking good start what a to, treat. This, to this one. Oh, my God. Ooh, okay, so this one is Roots. Also, I just really love the can art on it. It's very wow. fun, vibrant. And it says hard cider with ginger, turmeric, and lemongrass. Interesting. It's going to be fucking good. I was like, is there any other descriptions? Nope. No, which is good. Those are a lot of flavors. Ginger, turmeric, and lemongrass are all really strong. Strong flavors. Also, that's like my perfect mix of things. I bought a fucking uh, granola from Trader Joe's for this trip, and it's turmeric, ginger, and coconut. Interesting. And it's fucking good. So ginger and turmeric together fucks with me a little bit because I feel like both of them are so strong that they almost undo each other, or it's just like a cacophony ooh, ooh. in my mouth. That is perfect. That I feel like they blend in that. One's not like overpowering the other. Wow. 
That wow. tastes like fall. I fucking... Wow, oh. I was not expecting the lemongrass to contribute to a fall flavor because that's a very springy, like... It's fucking good. Holy shit. Wow. Those, I mean, they do. They, like, blend. I can't like, believe I, I genuinely wow. didn't know that Appalachian Mountain did cider. Yeah, Appalachian Mountain. What are you doing? Why also, haven't you told us this before? you know how I know it's not Appalachian? is because they'll throw an Appalachia. That's how they teach Appalachian. it. Appalachian. They'll throw an Appalachia. Yeah. The Appalachian Mountains. Appalachian Trail. Appalachian State. <laughs> University. University. <laughs> We just made them like real southern. Um, okay. They're mostly this one, okay, so this is like a Japanese theme. Are you like catching this? So look at these, like he's got the- Oh, it's a little and anime. Then, and then the um, dragon Ooh. on this one. This, very interesting. I Wait, this dragon is holding, it looks like kale and an apple. It's called Mystic. Mystic dragon, dragon, and it's green tea, rhubarb, and strawberries. Or rhubarb. Oh, um, and apples, obviously, because Abby's. Cider. And there's the strawberries on the little arrows. Mm. Ah. Abby's grandma used to make this strawberry rhubarb dessert every spring for my birthday, and it was the best. I love Abby's that. grandma made shit for my birthday. That's I love that. True. She also, my favorite thing that she made was her peach dessert, and it, peaches aren't in season until August, so yeah. I always wanted it for my birthday in May, Aww. but it wasn't ready, so she would just make it in August. Aww. And Abby and I, now that we're talking about camping, Abby and I used to set up a tent in her backyard. Yeah, I did that with you, remember? We did do that once, <laughs> but I was going to say, we used to set up a tent in her backyard for the new moon, which is the night where there's no moon at all, because oh. we were obsessed with Twilight. This is so embarrassing. Oh, Why am I, I didn't this? know that! God, it was in middle school. It was in middle school, uh, and we would sit out in this tent and sleep on the ground, like I was just making fun of. Oh my God, I'm having like recovered memories. Um, and we would we would eat strawberry toaster strudels. Before we went into the tent, we would watch the Lizzie McGuire movie. Ah! We did this every single year. It was like usually the night before the first day of school. Wow. They let you do that? Your parents let you fucking camp with each other yeah. the night before the my first parents, day of school? <laughs> uh, well, my mom and Abby's mom just got over the fact that we were not going to go to school. And so we would sleep over at each other's houses on school nights all the time and then wake up in the morning and be like, we feel like staying home. And they'd be like, whatever. <laughs> we, don't, we don't fucking care. I was the opposite student of you. I got straight A's, bitch. Yeah, but I, how, like, do they penalize you for not going no, to school? because I still got straight A's. Interesting. Because I'm... We had, like... A number of days you could miss before it was like. No, oh, you no. could miss up to forty. Forty? What school were you in? Lower it off and wow. um, we're Falcons victory <laughs> overall. I just need you to know that that is sex in your mouth. Ooh, what are the flavors again? Strawberry rhubarb, green Strawberry tea. Strawberry rhubarb, green tea. I feel like I would drink that alone. It's fucking good. It's it literally like a dessert, right? Whoa. Right. What's happening with these ciders? Wow, rhubarb is the flavor. Rhubarb is so fucking underrated. Rhubarb and strawberry specifically together are delightful. I feel like I don't have like any concept of rhubarb on its own. No, I only know it with strawberries. With strawberries, yeah. Maybe we should get like some rhubarb like stalks. I don't know. What are they? <laughs> they're, they're kind of, it's a root vegetable, kind of like a um, potato. Oh. Oh! Huh. Oh my god, that was delicious. These are all really fucking Holy good. Oh, sorry, shit. I keep changing that. Also, these are literally the opposite of everything that we drank over I here. I know. Okay, and this is the last one. It's Scarlet Rose. Hard cider with cinnamon, hibiscus, plums, and rose hips. Mm. And this is going to taste like fall. I have a feeling. Really? I was thinking summer. It's got that hibiscus cinnamon and rose though. hips. Oh, cinnamon does it. Cinnamon and plum. Yeah. Like, those are like the deeper... Let's see. Let's see what it... Let's see what she tastes like here. It smells like fucking cinnamon. Oh my mm. god. Oh my god, it smells so good. She's also got a hibiscus hat. Oh, she's hot. Yeah, girl. She, she's she like, can get it. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh my god, Ooh. it smells so good. The plum in that is like fantastic. Oh my Ooh. god. Is it weird that I'm gonna say that tastes like oatmeal? No. Do you get what I mean? That's uh, like a brown sugar almost. Yeah, like brown the, sugar cinnamon. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Holy I shit. That. I also, never would have expected that combo. The caloric count content on these, they're 148 calories each. 
which feels like super low for a full can. Very reasonable amount for these delicious ciders. Well, I didn't realize they were that low in calories. Neither did I. And it's almost like so you think about drinking a truly, which tastes like someone burped a flavor over there, and you're drinking that. Uh, and then there's this, and this is full, full of flavor. flavor. And they're five oh percent. They're all five percent. How are you gonna pick a favorite? I don't know. Oh my god, because they're all this is we started beauty. like so strong and I was like fuck did we start with the strongest one? But they're all really fucking good. Well, this is my issue is like uh, They're they all, all very different. They they're all serve very different, different purposes. Yes. Like, so like the mimosa one we should crack those tomorrow morning like absolutely. that those should be our morning <gasps> Those should be our yoga beers. Yes. Our yoga cider. Yes uh, the Turmeric, lemon, like this one, I would drink when like post workout because turmeric and ginger help with like inflammation. Yes. Mm -hmm. So like, okay, that would be a good post lemon post workout. Lemongrass is good for allergies. Fun fact. Ooh, that's good to know too. This fucking one tastes like dessert. Genuinely. The rhubarb one is dessert, and then this one feels like a fall Aww. campfire. Like this is the campfire one for tonight. Are we I gonna think. light a fire? Oh, we yeah. can do s'mores. Yeah, I brought s'mores. Shit. Listen. Alicia made a packing list like 60 things long and then I was like all right we're here for one night but like we can't not do all the things so like yes we do have to make s'mores and we do have to grill and we are gonna like take all the photos and we're gonna do it it's gonna be amazing we had to lug all of our shit up here too and it wasn't actually that far like he said I feel like two football fields worth wasn't actually I feel like it wasn't that long it wasn't that long, it's that it was just a little bit awkward. It was, it was... uphill and Alicia had to take my heavy ass suitcase, which like <laughs> tiny wheels. <laughs> the tiny wheels were the problem. It's it wasn't your suitcase. A huge suitcase <laughs> that had like I put my camera bag in there and my yoga mat and like I brought power 17 hour shirts. Tower? Oh yeah, power hour. Yeah, tower. I'm like, that's like, probably what was heavy. A little bit of everything. It's a small thing though, power oh, hour. Oh, I thought it was. It's big. like a normal J Jenga size. Not like Rainbow Timber. No. Well, no, like Rainbow Timber. Rainbow Timber wasn't huge. Hmm. It's Either just way. a normal Jenga size thing, but it is a solid block of wood. Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> well, it was just pulling it up, and then I was pulling that one and my rolling suitcase, and just awkwardly on grass gravel. and gravel. But, I mean, if you were a normal person, you yeah. just had a backpack. You'd yeah, be if fine. you guys were coming here to, like, normal camp versus us, where we're like, hi, we're going to create content and, like, have fun and, and drink a shit thing. ton of beer. And we have to do the yoga, and then we have to do the th and, and then we are staying in Boone, like, for a couple of more nights. Yes. So it's not just, like, we have one night of stuff. Anyway, I'm validating it now. But I want to okay. drink more of these. <laughs> First, we have to pick our favorite cider, and okay. then we have to pick our favorite overall. Okay, I'm gonna taste these all one more time. Yeah, say. yeah, yeah. I'll do it from the other side. Okay, that's our mimosa. God, mm, they're so good. This one's much more mild than the rest. Mm -hmm. That strawberry rhubarb one's fucking good. Of the ciders, I'm gonna say this guy. I'm gonna go strawberry rhubarb. Those two are my favorite, though. All right, let's do a cheersies. Okay. Hail Satan. Okay, now overall, is that still your fave? Honestly, I feel like yes. I feel like that fucking lager is dope, but I feel like this is just so unique from a cider perspective. And we've had I, some good fucking ciders. I never think to drink cider. Yeah, like either. I feel we really bad cider. about that because I'm really good friends with Elle and Will at Busky Cider. Yeah. Like they like hang well, out with love, us now. We love them, yeah. And it's so good, their cider's delicious. And when we go there and we drink it, I love it. But I just, when I go out, I think to buy wine or beer. Yeah. And that's maybe my problem. Yeah. But like I just never, and our friends will come over and they'll bring Busky Cider with them. And yeah. I'm like, huh. And like we have a couple of cideries in Charlotte too, and I really like them. I same exact thing. It's mm -hmm. like, yeah, I fucking love cider, but I never go and hang out there. Which is so silly of us. Like maybe yeah. what are we doing? Or maybe it's a challenging marketing concept for cideries to overcome. Yeah. Well now Charlotte has its first seltzery. I'm so curious about that. Richmond it's, just is about to um, get there. It's stunning. I actually need to email back the seltzery gal. Uh, she shot us an email because they're doing three different fitness events there. 
Uh, so I was like, uh, hi, we have to partner. That's what I messaged you. I was like, we, they're doing tone and tap. Yeah, they're doing tone and tap. They're doing um, Charlotte Fit Fam. And they're nice. doing a yoga class. Amazing. So, like, seltzer is honestly, like, we That's like seltzer. Like, seltzer's fucking good. Well, I always uh, buy like seltzer. Like, craft seltzer. Yeah. Like, there's a lot of, like, breweries that are doing craft seltzer. And they do it fucking well. Yep. Um, and you don't have to, like, buy Truly or White Claw. Please stop buying White Claw. I'm just saying, I think people do it because there aren't any laws with it. But, but there are laws. Not with White Claws. <laughs> All right, anyway, we're going to stop talking about other companies. A AMB, AMC, killed it. AMB, thank you so much. This oh, was guys, delightful. Yeah, Glamping good. Unplugged, thank you so much. This is delightful. Um, we're hoping there aren't more of those caterpillars. Creepy crawlies. Um, but for now, we're just going to... Cheers. Cheers, and do we finish these? Well, I mean, we can try. This will be... I'll speed it up in the video. Okay. All right, ready? I won't judge you for it. Thanks. <laughs> foam on that one. I dribbled. Are we happy? Yeah. I love you. I love you. I'm so excited to make s'mores and wieners. Guys, we're going to do all the camping things and, and drink the rest of these beautiful beverages. And hope we don't die. Yeah. Uh, stay sexy and don't get murdered. <laughs>